Hi everyone, so I just got home from work and somebody at work today said, how do you get fake blood off of your skin? So I was like, hmm, good question. Let's have a go. We are gonna be testing five products. So we have got baby wipes, soap, any soap guys, shaving foam or shaving gel, washing up liquid and alcohol rubbing solution. So I'm gonna paint my face now, leave it on for one hour and then I'm gonna go in with all of these and we'll see which one produces the best results. Hair up for this one. Hair definitely out of my face for this one. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna paint my face in five different places with red and red paint and blood. So we'll do both. So then I'm gonna go in and put five blood because we have five products. This is me for the next hour. Come back and we'll have a go and see what works best. Okay, it's been around an hour, about 50 minutes. Um, my oven is on, so I'm sorry if you can hear that. So yeah, let's have a go. So we're gonna try a different product on each section and hopefully we're close enough for you to see the results. So the first thing we're gonna try, baby wipes. I tend to use these mostly, um, but yeah, let's have a go. So going in with a baby wipe. So I guess it depends on your skin, how porous it is. I guess every skin is different and where on your face the blood is as well. I'm guessing some sections will take it differently to others, but okay. After one hour, that's the baby wipe. Not bad, I think. Okay, the next thing we're gonna go ahead and try and use is the shaving foam or shaving gel. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go neat on the face. Just put a little bit in my hand. I'm gonna go on the chin, because that's where I shave, mostly. <laughs> Just gonna rub that in and rub it off with the flannel. I don't know, that feels quite, that looks quite red still. Yeah, it's quite red still. Okay, um, so the next thing we're gonna try is the rubbing alcohol. I'm just gonna put some on the corner of that cloth. I did have a different cloth for every area, but I don't wanna ruin my cloths. So I've just put some on the corner of my flannel and I'll go on my cheek with this one. Whoa. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. I'm really pushing hard. And I, I guess if I went in with a second bit of that, it would come off. Um, but after a couple of wipes, not so much. Fourth one. Fairy liquid, washing up liquid, whatever you want um, to call it. I'm just gonna go neat, straight on, on the flannel, in the corner, different corner. Um, we'll go up here with the fairy liquid. Oh dear. That's quite a lot of wipes there. Um, ugh, I'm really scrubbing. Okay, very liquid. Not so great. Last, soap. Normal hand soap. I'm using Dove, but you know, you can use any one you want. Um, I'm just gonna rub it onto the flannel, different flannel this time. Just gonna rub a bit of soap onto the flannel and have a go. I don't know if it's just my skin, but I feel like it's all come off quite easy. Maybe my skin isn't that porous, but you can still see residue here from the soap. 
So we have wet wipes, alcohol. Oh, no, alcohol. It's made me quite blotchy. I need to go and wash my face. Fairy liquid and soap. Yeah. I would say, personally, I've always used baby wipes. And I think rub for rub, it came off quickest, easiest. Less effort, I didn't really have to scrub my skin. Even with the alcohol, you saw it just smear completely all over. That didn't happen with the other areas. My vote goes to baby wipes. Wet wipes wins, which is what I expected. That and close second was the shaving foam I expected better, but it's not better. I hope this helps you guys. These are Tesco wet wipes. Tesco's, thumbs up from me.